couched in the Gila and Apache National Forest along the Arizona border is Katrin County. Home of Apache tribes, homesteaders, rustlers, and wranglers, the mountains and valleys of this county hold many a story. And Debbie Milligan Lee and Apache Creek Old West Tours will guide you through the unique history of this region. Our first stop, the W.S. Ranch. On the historic W.S. Ranch here in Katrin County, one of the most historical things about it is the cemetery. It relates back not only to the history of the ranch and also to the Apaches. Everybody that is buried here has been murdered. The headstones are beautiful. Mm -hmm. They've got a lot of the history written right on oh, them. Oh, right, right. This final resting place befits the Calvary One Station here to protect ranchers from raids by the Apaches. But despite its often wild and untamed history, today the W.S. Ranch is a peaceful getaway operated by Phyllis McKean, whose family bought the property from Wilson close to 100 years ago. Phyllis welcomes Debbie's tours onto the ranch, and if you plan ahead, you can even reserve a room at the bunkhouse for a longer stay. Okay, Michael, you're in the heart of the WS. We're here at the headquarters, and here's Phyllis. Hi, Phyllis. She knows Hi. all the history. Good morning. Good morning, I'm Michael. Nice to meet you, I'm Phyllis. Thank you. How long has the ranch been here in an operation? It's been here since 1882. Okay. That's when Wilson and Stevens first came out here. And how big was the ranch in its entirety? It was huge. I think at one time they said they, they ran 12,000 head or more. They had a lot of cowboys and Butch Cassidy showed up oh. one time, yeah. Like a hideout to stay low. And they were having wrestling problems here, so he actually kind of put a stop to that. That's what they say. that. The wrestling stopped whenever he showed up. So, <laughs> yes, he was a trail boss. Okay. And they take the cattle to Magdalena to the trailhead there. What does it feel like to have that kind of history where you live and you still oh. have cattle to this day, right? Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. It's just kind of unreal in, in the sense, you know, that mm -hmm. you're thinking that all this happened here. See, I feel pretty fortunate that I get to live here. My grandfather bought the ranch from Wilson in the early 1900s, so he was here for a long time and then my dad had it and then me so it's been in the family the history of the ranchers and the outlaws but the apache mm -hmm. you get it all in one package here right. it's like all of new mexican history converging into one place you're exactly <laughs> right after we wrap up our conversation with phyllis i settle into the bunkhouse where relics from phyllis's family and life on the ranch create a western flair and comfort reign supreme but the old west isn't limited to the interior aesthetic Step up on the deck and gaze across the field to where a muster of peacocks roams about and cattle graze as the sun dips in the sky. You may just find yourself in another era. The next day, Debbie picks me up and takes me into the neighboring town of Reserve, to the area's most popular watering hole, Uncle Bill's Bar. All right, what do we got here at the Uncle Bill's Bar? Uncle Bill's Bar. There's been many bar fights in here. A lot of rodeo cowboys, real cowboys, bikers. All right, let me roll up my sleeves then. All right. <laughs> Come on in. Luckily for me, the tone today is fairly mellow. And despite its rough and rowdy legends, the locals turn out to be super friendly. I hope, you know, there's no fights or anything if I, I beat you in pool. Oh, no. <laughs> this is the meeting place. Okay. This is the meeting place. Yes. Everybody who comes in reserve, they gotta stop here. You gotta stop here. After I scratch and lose my first game of pool, I make my way to the bar and meet some of the other locals. So Jackie, um, how long have you been coming to the bar? Forever, ever since I was a little girl, actually. The mom and dad were here with friends and we'd come over and play pool. We were here all the time. And what about you, Wade? How long have you been coming here? First time I came in here was my 21st birthday and Tuffy was in the bar then. Uh -huh. Later on he got in a tussle with one of my friends and they threw us all out, 86 us. <laughs> and later on I came in and uh -huh. I threw my hat in and uh, Tuffy said, get in there and get that damn hat and have a drink. <laughs> that so sounds the 86 like didn't last long. Oh, wow. <laughs> The bar has been run by a colorful cast of characters, all in the same family over several generations. So, Zoan, I hear this bar has been in your family for a while now, right? Four generations, uh -huh. since the early 1800s. And how did it? How did they get it? Well, there's two different stories. One is that my grandfather won it in a poker game, <laughs> and then the other story is that he bought it as a pool hall and turned it into a beer joint and sold moonshine underneath the bar. So how did your family come to be in this part of New Mexico? From what I understand, they left in the middle of the night from Alabama, and they came with my great grandfather from the other side of my family, who was a Texas Ranger, and they settled here in the late 1800s. They brought a 200 head of mares here, and they raised horses and sold 1,500 head of gildings at the time to the British Army. And Uncle Bill's mother and father opened a mercantile. 
the feel of the Old West is ever present and there's no shortage of folks who are happy to share their stories with you. Debbie will customize tours for you, many of them inspired by books written about Katrin County. If you want to do any reading before you go, check out Captain William French's book, Recollections of a Western Ranchman, or Cow Dust and Saddle Leather by Ben Kemp.